I recently dug out some old report cards from first and second grade, and the teacher said, well, Robbie's very inquisitive and he won't shut up. I can imagine I was quite a handful, so it's no surprise that my mom would come up with projects to keep me occupied in the winter, like kitchen sink gardening. If you've got a kid like little Robbie, you can teach them how to take kitchen scraps and turn them into plants. You probably have lettuce, celery, and cabbage in your fridge. We always cut off the bases and throw these away, but if you don't, you can coax them to come out and grow new leaves by placing them in a shallow saucer with some water. You can do this with fennel, and then throughout the winter, you can continue to harvest the fresh leaves to flavor fish and salads. The tops of carrots and beets can be placed in a saucer of soil as well. The bottom of green onions can be placed in water and you can continue to harvest the new green growth. Plant a piece of ginger root and it will soon turn into a plant, a pretty house plant. You can also grow a pineapple plant. Lop off the top, place it in a shallow saucer with soil and once it begins to root, you can transfer it to a pot. If you take good care of it, someday you might have a new pineapple. It just might take a couple years. If you have potatoes that have sprouted in your cupboard, plant them up. And sweet potatoes are easy to sprout in a jar of water and that makes a lovely house plant. The seeds of citrus and avocado can also be sprouted and grown as house plants. Don't count on any fruit from those trees, however, because they have to grow to full size. I really did do this as a boy, and I loved it. I had an avocado tree about five feet tall. I had a lemon tree, and I trained my sweet potato vine all around my bedroom window. And I'm sure that kept me quiet for at least a little while. <laughs>